I recently got a coupon for cartrimhome.com. If you are in the RAV4 Facebook groups, it is a website that's talked about pretty often. There's a lot of simple mods that you can pick up on there, like light switches and things like that. The stuff that I picked up were definitely the things that I have had my eye on for a while. I've seen everyone else installing it, but didn't get around to ordering a set for myself until recently. A lot of this stuff is... Uh, it looks like it's imported from China as you can see made in China from the reviews and the feedback that everyone's provided online um, it seems to be pretty close if not identical to OEM quality for a lot of these parts so some of the things I got here so these are the LED lights to for the interior so I'll be able to switch out all of the LED lights to a much brighter output the, this is one of those that I've had my eye on for the longest time and just couldn't get myself to ordering it until recently. This is the uh, driver side window switches and these ones are the ones that light up. So one of the features that I don't understand why Toyota decided to opt out on even on the Adventure and the higher end model of the RAV4 is these illuminated light switches. These should look identical to the ones that are in there now, except that these light up. To go with the driver's side ones, I also got the ones for the rest of the doors. So there's three of these individual switches. This was kind of a splurge, not something I necessarily had my eye on, but something that I thought would be pretty useful. These panels replace the, the interior door latches. It adds a little LED light. I believe that's it in there. So it provides a little blue LED light to illuminate the handles. This here, I also picked up a set of the hood latches. Uh, from my understanding, these should work with the LP Adventure Brackets. It seems like a few people out there have already used it and tried it and it works. So I'll be installing these with the LP Adventure Ditch Light Brackets that are already installed on my hood. Then last but not least, the smoked turn LED turn signals, the sequential ones. I've, had, I've seen everyone else installing these and definitely was low-key a little jealous and decided to get a set for my own. All of these installs should be pretty simple. I anticipate most of the install except maybe the uh, hood latch is going to only require some type of body trim tool, which cartrimhome.com already included in the box, and a screwdriver, which is another tool we'll need. And so, like I said, I don't anticipate these installations taking very long, and they're pretty simple. There's a lot of uh, great videos on YouTube already um, if you really need detailed instructions, but these should be pretty simple. I would assume these are probably one out of 10 difficulty. And so I'm just gonna kind of install these, bring you along with me during the process. And then we can go from there. I'll show you what the final results look like. For a little bit of before and after, here's this. So here we are at the side view mirrors. We'll do these ones first. Basic breakdown from what I saw on the YouTube videos that I mentioned earlier. Uh, we're just going to pop this cap off with the body trim tool. There's a couple screws holding this current light in that we'll swap out for the new one. Plug this one in, put the cap back on, and it should be good to go. So let me grab the tools. So there's the cap off. I just lightly use a little bit of pressure to get the edges broken open. And then you can see on the inside right here, there's a couple clips. So make sure you're aware of that when you are pulling this off so you don't tear off these tabs. So now that this is off, we're gonna remove this piece here. We're going to, there's a screw right there and it looks like a screw right there. And we should be able to get this free. So an important note once you get the screws off is right back here, there's actually this clip right here. So make sure you don't tear this off. You gotta pinch it and then push it through. See that? 
once you unclip this it doesn't look like this piece comes off much further but there should be enough to be able to pull this out and swap, swap the new one in It definitely changes up the look going black. I was debating between going with the white or the smoked. It does take away from the, uh, the bit of silver that I do feature on this build, like on the wheels and the adventure trim, but feeling it, definitely feeling it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, now that the mirrors are done, we'll go ahead on the inside and start working on some of the LEDs for the inside. So there's these two connectors here, one, two. So we'll remove a few of these screws. It's gonna be this one here, that one there, and possibly this one down here, and we'll be able to swap them out. It comes right out once you take the screws out. We just remove this piece here so that we can install the new one with the lights. So as you can see overall, both units look pretty much identical. The one on the right side is the car trim home one. You can see little LED lights within the button itself. I would say the only major difference between the factory one and the car trim home module is that the car trim home module has a little bit of a chrome accent on the tip of all of these switches. As you can see, that looks super factory. Before we reinstall this panel, we have to remove this one up here and then run the wires through because it's going to tap into the power from these switches. Here's the factory one. You can compare that to the car trim home one. This one has a wire in the back for the LED. So between these two, it's actually this one that's going to be the easiest one to run through. So you'll go ahead and run the cord down and the cord through, it'll come out right here, and then we'll hook this up to the harness, and this can be clipped in. As you can see, it's super easy install in terms of installing the piece itself. Just run the wiring now. So I got most of the way through installing the driver's side, and then I ran into a little issue when I was testing everything. It turns out this harness, which is the harness for the LED light in the handle, is designed for a European spec RAV4. So what we're gonna have to do is modify this harness. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna cut this black cord, which I believe is the ground for the LED light. We're gonna cut it on both sides, and then we'll tap it into number six over here. We're gonna, so we're gonna cut into this, it connects on both sides, cut it in the center, and then we'll tap it into this black one right here. So now that I've actually cut things, you can get a better idea of which, what I'm talking about. So here's the ground wire. I cut it off on both ends here. You can see, and then cord number six right here, I just cut it in the center. And then I'll uh, go ahead and strip both ends a little, uh, strip the jacket off on both ends, tap it into each other so that it's connected more or less like this on both ends. This should bypass the ground to where we can get that LED to light up. I connected the black wire to the orange ends I didn't solder it or anything. I don't think it's going to be the big deal as long as it's pretty secure. I am gonna wrap it with electrical tape to finish it off. But as you can see, pretty simple, very simple wiring. And there it is, finished off with a little bit of electrical tape, nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and throw this in and see if it works. Here's a few of the harness, everything wired up. And it looks like it lights up. So here's what that looks like. Now we got some light. Got some light in there. Now let's move on to the other doors and then I'll show you what it looks like with the lights off. So here is the rear. I pulled it out just like I did on the others. The difference between the passenger doors and the driver door is this isn't held in by screws. You'll see that it'll, it's held in by little clips. There's one in the front, two in the rear. You can use your tool like this to kind of 
push it off and get it out. Just note that this plastic here is actually super soft and thin, so you want to be very careful so you don't crack it. You just want to get uh, enough of a wedge in there to get the clips out and then they should slide out and you'll be able to put a new one in. Also with the passenger doors for the window switches, you'll have to use the included adapter, otherwise the light on the switch doesn't work. This is what you'll hook up the adapter for the light in here too as well. So here's what all the wiring looks like. This is the adapter that goes to the light up there. And then down here is the adapter that goes to the window switch. So two adapters and then this is the factory harness right here. From here I'll knock out all the rest of the doors and then I can show you what the finished product looks like. For this section of the video, for the LED lights, these are super easy to install, but instead of breaking down the install for you, because I would never recommend doing it the way you see here on video, you don't want any current going to these lights when you're swapping them out, it's just good practice. Because of that, I want to shout out a couple of the channels that have helped me out. These are great channels on YouTube that provide a lot of great in-depth install videos the types of aesthetic mods and things like that that your everyday RAV4 driver would want to install. My favorite channels out there are RAV4 Gen 5, Bullet Solano's channel is a great one, and of course the OG Morozov Automotive. I highly appreciate the effort that they put into their videos. I know how time consuming even these simple install videos can be to produce. So if you're not checking out any of those channels, I highly recommend them. I'll link them down in the description below. Welcome back guys. Day two of the car trim home install. We got all the lights installed yesterday. So today we'll be working on the hood struts. All right, so the hood struts actually allow us to be able to open up the hood on the RAV4 without having to use the stand right here. We'll be installing it here on the hinge and it should work with the LP Adventure ditch light brackets um, installed on here too. If anything, what I'll do is I'll install it under the ditch light brackets. So uh, let me grab the tools. You'll need a 12 millimeter socket for the top right here and for the bolt down there. At this point of the install, I got a little ahead of myself and I just went ahead and took the bracket off and tried installing the strut mounts directly to the hood and then stack the LP Adventure ditch light bracket on top. And so once I learned my mistake, I went ahead and put everything back and mounted the car trim home mount to the top bolt. The install for the bottom mount is very simple. You just go ahead and take off the one bolt right there temporarily, slide the mount in place, and then go ahead and retighten that bolt with the mount in place. And so here's a look of them in action. Go ahead to the front over here quickly show off the Cascadia 4x4 panel soaking in some power on the hood. Here's a final look of the bracket in place. As you can see, there is a little bit of space between the bracket itself and the hood. This is definitely something I'm gonna monitor and uh, update you guys with some feedback on whether or not this really causes any severe issues. Here's the other side over here super easy install especially if you don't have any other additional mods uh, like I do you can just go ahead and take off the one bolt up front and secure the steer hood and this is definitely not even any type of off-road mod it's something that anyone can use same with all of the other mods that you saw in this video these are definitely mods that are more for comforts and aesthetics that being said, I'm completely happy with all of these mods. The only one that I'm kind of questionable on is the hood struts. So I'm going to give you guys some feedback on that. Let me know which one of these car trim home mods that you like the most. Rate them from one through five down in the comments below. Leave me some feedback. Thanks for the support. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.